Hello there, Year 8. It's Mr. McGlynn here, and I'm currently delivering the GCSE business course. What I want to do today is try and explain to you why the business course might be the right option for you. And I'll go into the details about what it involves shortly. However, I wanted to give you some examples of people that have used their knowledge in business to become very successful businessmen and women. Firstly, I'd like to talk about Levi Root, who's better known as Keith Graham. He is a celebrity chef from Brixton, and he is somebody that did very, very well on the programme Dragon's Den, where he brought his idea of cooking sauces in reggae reggae sauce and brought the business idea to them and has become very, very successful after their investment. On the right hand side, we have Deborah Meadham. Um, she is a very well known businesswoman and TV personality from the Dragon's Den. But she started off her business career running a multi million pound family holiday business. And now she uses her profits from that to invest in smaller businesses like Levi Roots and Reggae Reggae Sauce. And she's done very, very well out of that also. The other lady in the bottom left hand corner then is Sarah William. And she is an entrepreneur and business investor. And what she has done is invested in diff the management of different restaurant chains, such as Planet Hollywood, Pizza Express, and the largest Indian restaurant chain in the UK, which is Bombay Bicycle Club. And then lastly, in the bottom right -hand corner is a gentleman called Philip Green. And he is a British businessman who runs Arcadia Group. Now that is the group that manage Top Shop, Top Man and Miss Selfridge. And he has done very, very well out of that also. What I'm trying to get across to you here is, is that business takes many forms and it can sell products and services. And we encounter different businesses every day. So you can enter into lots and lots of different business environments and you can use your knowledge from this course to do so. What you will study in the GCSE business course is split up into two units, unit one and unit two, and they form the exam elements. Within unit one, as you can see, there is business activity, there's marketing and people. Within business activity, we're looking at the skills and qualities to become an entrepreneur and why people might actually want to set up a business because there are risks and obviously reward involved. Within the marketing aspect, we look at the, how the different target markets that you might aim your product or service at and how you can gain business through effective marketing techniques. Within the people aspect, we look at the different roles that people might take within the business and the different formats that a business structure might take and the recruiting process and how people might choose their way of working, whether it's full time and part time and aspects like that. In unit two, we look at operations, finance, influences on business and the interdependent nature of business. Within operations, we look specifically at the manufacturing methods that businesses might choose and that the way that they might transport their products around the country or internationally. Within the finance section, we are looking at the accounts and how businesses need to predict what may come in and out of the business and how they can maintain a positive cash flow. Within the influences of business, this is where businesses consider their ethical and environmental impact on their, with their actions and how they can use that as a really good business perspective to take. The interdependent nature of business is this is the unit where it takes into account all of the units that we've talked about and all of the content that we talk about and how businesses can use all of that to become successful and maintain successful profits in future. So what can this course lead to? So as I've mentioned in the first slide that there are a whole range of different business environments that you could go into if you had a good business foundation to go on. So it might be in that you look at the retail aspect and we look at sales and products and services in, in, in shops. And that might be face to face in shops or it might be online or via telesales. It might be that you want to work in an office based environment and that could be a whole range of, of different things.
It could be like a data analyst, a business advisor, a mortgage advisor. It could be a whole range of different environments that you use your knowledge in business to do so. It might be that you are interested in construction and that you might run an architect business or be a project manager or you might run your own carpentry business or a plumbing business and you've got this knowledge of business to help you do that. It might be that you just want to be your own boss and you want to choose as and when you work, um, but you've built up the, the business that you've thought of to get to that point where you can do that and you can employ other people. Of course, it gives you the flexibility and the independence to do so, but there's of course the risk involved with that as well. But for many people, that's what they like to be, is they like to be their own boss, they like to be in control, and that's one of the reasons why they want to go into business. The key thing that you need to know is that your knowledge and foundation in business is transferable across many different types of business. And whether it's face to face, over the phone, over the internet, that the GCSE business course will give you the skills that you need to be able to be effective in business. So how will this course be assessed? It is assessed as, assessed as two exams and they are 90 minutes each and they contribute to 100% of your overall mark. So there is no coursework. And as mentioned in the previous slides, the course is split up into two units and unit one is 50% and unit two is also 50%. I hope the information that I provided for you today has given you a better insight into the GCSE business course. If you'd like any further information, you can see the contact details of, of my email address on the slide, or alternatively, you can contact Mrs. Charles, the careers advisor, or just general options inquiries as per the email below. Take care, stay safe.